she's prices and i'm back here with another video so today i have a video for my baby vices this video is for hu22 and any incoming freshman anyone who basically has a first year at howard but it's specifically catered to hu22 because i am now a rising sophomore so I can only speak about freshman year. These are just 10 things that HU22 needs to know. So without further ado, let's get right on into it. Number one, if you don't know, abs. Now, this is really important because no one is going to expect you to know anything about, well, they're gonna expect you to know some things about Howard, but no one's gonna expect you to be an expert on Howard. So always seek out information if you can get a mentor because I didn't have a mentor. I had my peers and I had a couple older people that like reached out to me on Twitter, especially like when I lost my scholarship and things like that. Like I had a lot of support that way, but like in regards to someone that I could always call, I didn't have that. I mean, I had many people reach out and stuff, but like I didn't have someone that was like my designated mentor. So what I would suggest is getting a mentor. Women of Revolt is having um, a sign up sheet for mentors and mentees right now. So I would definitely suggest signing up for that. I definitely signed up to get a mentor but it just never happened for some reason <laughs> so if you can't find your own mentor just reach out on twitter reach out on instagram dm somebody somebody's willing to help you reach out to me and if i know somebody in your major if i even if, if i if you want me to be your mentor i will definitely do that like i just feel like the blind cannot lead the blind and everyone should try to help so yeah get your mentor and if you don't know something, ask because nobody is expecting you to know every you to know anything. Like they're expecting you to know some like common sense things, but like in regards to like how things work here and how things operate, ask. Like just ask. It's okay, baby. Number two, freshman week. Don't waste your coins. Now, a party pack is gonna get advertised. You heard me. I last year I was actually a promoter for this party pack, so. I was able to get out to get the um, go to all the parties for free. I only went to one. Let me tell you why I only went to one because Ubers will that will add up. But I just could not imagine myself paying seventy to eighty dollars to go to a party where there's not food and um, yeah. <laughs> like don't get me wrong, I'm pretty sure a lot of people had a good time there. But like I know some of the parties that I went to that were within the party pack, like. Things were malfunctioning and I would have been mad if I spent mad money on it. So <laughs> with that being said, Howard will have events your freshman year that you can do for the free 99. You heard me, the free 99. But if you have the coins to do so, go ahead, do so. Um, I'm pretty sure these people that are promoting all these parties are going to throw very good parties. If you don't have the coins to, I'm just saying, when you look back into like go like get further into your freshman year, you're going to be like, dang, I really just drop dog on like damn near a hundred dollars to go to parties for a week that's crazy so don't waste your coins <laughs> if you don't have to if you have the means to waste your coins then go ahead spend your money sis i don't care how you do it <laughs> three always go with a group of people so i cannot stress this enough especially if you all follow my channel you all know that i recently went through a sexual assault and I've had a couple other things happen to me here. So always be aware of your surroundings and everyone is not your friend. So even if you're going with a group of people, you need to make sure these group of people are like, like make a group chat and y'all texting throughout the night. Like I cannot stress that enough because I would like, God forbid anything happened to anybody freshman week, anything happened to anyone freshman year. Like I don't wish that upon anybody. So just always, 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 go with a group of people and if you see someone alone like it's just common sense and common courtesy to check on them and like just and even if you see guys like pressuring on a girl or something like keep your eye out for stuff like that like always be aware of your surroundings and always be looking out guys as well i know people be under the influence i know it's a party da 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 da, da. like that's just no excuse like always make sure you're safe wherever y'all go in freshman week especially um freshman week because there's no classes and everyone's out and a lot of things can happen and a lot of things did happen freshman week not just to me but to a lot of girls and just a lot of situ dangerous situations that people should not have been in four you can get everything done during freshman week now i know a lot of hu22 is calling the offices and they're getting told a million different things and a lot of people are like no we got to take this place math placement test right now like they said so we said we can't take it during freshman week 
Baby, they tell everybody they can't take it during freshman week, but everybody be in that eye lab taking that bath placement test because I personally was not about to pay um, the $7. <laughs> like, I just wasn't about to do that. And also, people don't have to take a bath their freshman year. I don't know. I, like, you don't have to do it. I know seniors that didn't take math until their senior year, junior, that, did, that just took math, their junior year. Like, it is okay. You can take that during freshman week. You can get that done during orientation. You can get all that done. Also, um, what was I about to say? Um, bison prep, if you do not live um, close to DC, do not waste your coins. Don't buy a plane ticket here because you're going to be mad you wasted your coins for a day. Because you're just going to get your little bison one card and that's going to be it. <laughs> Unless y'all just planning on like meeting each other and stuff like that. But like I'm telling you, you're going to have plenty of time to do that when you get here. Also, um, your little groupie friends, I hate to break it to you, I hate to be the, the bearer of bad news, um, those are not going to, <laughs> I don't want to say those are not going to be your friends when you get here, but do not have high expectations for people that you've been talking to in the group meet or having a snap streak with, with or commenting on their posts and stuff like that. Like, people are very different on social media and versus when you get in person, because like, I remember I got here and I started seeing people, I was like, hi! And that was it. <laughs> Like, and I, nothing to wrong with these people. Like, I've been still following their social media, still said, still speak when I see them, but like, we never, like, was bestie bestie. Like, we thought we was gonna be in the group chats and our, or our snap streaks and stuff like that. So, don't have high expectations for people you've been communicating via electronics or social media. Five, if you're working right now, if you have a job right now, I'm gonna tell you to save $3,000. I'm gonna tell you why to do that. So, when you get here, depending on your major, you're gonna have textbooks to buy. Um, now this varies from person to person, this varies from person to thing, your um, scheme, your classes, what your major is. So for me, SLC, I believe I spent about, for the whole school year, I probably dropped about a thousand dollars on books. Now, I could say I could have found two of those books, PDFs, and I didn't need one book really, because I was the class was kind of finessable. And that's the one thing you have to learn. Like, this is why I say get a mentor because you can find out, kind of find out what classes are finessable, what teacher, and like what books you really need. But I know for other classes and other majors, like biology majors, um, stuff like that, like you're gonna have to drop some coins for your books. So I'm gonna say save like a thousand dollars just for like your books and stuff like that. Ubers, <laughs> Ubers will add up, honey. Ubers will add up, and they will, woo, honey. Like, could you? Now I'm. I'm terrible at this. Like, I like to walk everywhere. Um, I walk home from work at 2 o'clock in the morning. I do that. I don't suggest that to everybody, but you know, I believe the power of God is always with me and God has a layer of protection around me. But, like, there have been situations where, like, niggas around here are crazy. That's all I'm gonna say. And, I mean, I'm, I always stay strapped with my mates, but, like, especially because, like, if you're a Howard woman, you're you automatically beautiful, okay? Like, you're beautiful right so there will be a lot of guys that will try to talk to you there will be a lot of people walking driving stopping in their car saying some wild stuff to you so just know just be aware be aware of your surroundings like so I say 3,000 because Ubers and depending on if you're a picky eater or not loud so cat food if you know you are not going to eat that cat food, you're probably going to eat out a lot. And if you don't have the coins to do so, I'm going to tell you to save your money now. So if you're working, I'm going to say save like $3,000 so you can have like money to spend on food. Now don't be that person that spends $500 in a month or two months. Don't be that person. You can eat on a budget around here. Like, don't be, don't be trying to live lavish. Like, it's okay. Like, maybe treat yourself maybe once or twice a month and, you know all that but yeah also in the summertime you're going to be able to walk places because it's like hot outside you're going to get a group of people you're going to go to u street sometimes you're going to go out to eat you're just going to be walking around traveling and stuff like that so it's going to be easy for you to pick up food this is when the coins start dropping so like when it gets kind of cold outside you're not going to want to go anywhere so you're going to want to postmates everything and that adds up so this is why i say save your coins if you're not especially me, I didn't have my, my family was not like giving me money months, like monthly, like wasn't getting like allowances and stuff like that. Like, I'm like, I'm doing this whole college thing on my own basically. Now in cases of emergency, I will ask my family for money, but I don't like doing that. But like, sometimes I have to just because like, I'm like, okay, at least like, you had options, so we gotta ask. <laughs> but 
don't be that person that depends solely upon your parents have some independence because it will build character oh also for homecoming week now i'm gonna say <laughs> now elise shorty did a little big you know i had to get an outfit i had to pop out for homecoming week i bought hair i had to buy fits for every day i bought the whole homecoming package i went to every event and i'm gonna say i probably spent about three three hundred about three hundred to four hundred dollars so if you know you'll be that person that's gonna be at every event since you're gonna need some money <laughs> you're gonna need some coins okay so yeah yeah so that's why i say how about three thousand dollars and i think you'll be good also if you're getting a refund then you'll definitely be good i didn't get a refund so because yeah i had a balance so i was kind of like working <laughs> working just to support myself you feel me and six don't be afraid to put yourself out there now i say this in the most modest way possible. Howard is full of people, like your uh, your definition of a black person is going to change when you come to Howard. Because when you come here, there is no longer a definition to blackness. There's gonna be upper class black people. There's gonna be lower class black people. There's going to be Caribbean people. There's gonna be African people. There's gonna be a big melting pot of different black people. Where you're gonna have a culture shock because you're gonna be like, oh my God, I don't even know what being black is no more. Don't be afraid to put yourself out there and meet new people, reach out to people. Like, don't be afraid. Always, always, always network with people. Seven, don't be a clout chaser because don't nobody like clout chasers. Now there's all there's already gonna be people that got like you know that got followers on the gram that you know got a little money so they gonna be flexing in their little brands or whatever. If you go be a clout chaser or whatever, first of all, I'm, I'm I hate that like no one likes a clout chaser because <laughs> clout is temporary. Howard on Howard is temporary. Howard is about four years of your life, four years of undergrad. Now if you go undergrad, kudos to you, but. Like I said, Howard is temporary, so you need to make sure you're building a brand while you're here. Um, you need to have, find the Howard hustle. You need to find something that makes you an individual because, you know, I'm going to say this because Howard is full of people that were exceptional in their high school. Like, for me personally, Shorty was captain of sports. Shorty was um, homecoming queen all four years. I was doing spoken word, I was always performing, I won state for poetry out loud, I was doing all these amazing things and when you get to Howard, clean slate because everybody here is, like the bar is already up here, like you got people with five points, some, like GPAs you ain't never seen in your life, you just like, oh my god, like I am nobody. But you're gonna find yourself here and it's gonna take time. So I'm just here to like give y'all skills to help you find your way here because you're gonna go through so many periods of time here that like, it's just like what am I doing? I don't know my purpose, like da, da da da. And that is perfectly fine, but like making sure that you're prepared for that is what I'm trying to help y'all with. Number eight, explore DC and get away from Howard. Now, if you become a homebody at Howard, you're gonna hate Howard. There are so many people who are like, if Howard already was not your dream school, and you're gonna get here and realize it's not what you thought it was. You're gonna see the ugly truth about financial aid, you're gonna see the ugly truth about administration, about life in general, especially if you're like doing this on your own. Like it's gonna get hard if you just sit here and wallow in like your pain and sit here and wallow in like whatever you're going through, it's gonna eat you alive. So this is why I encourage to get out and explore DC. Cause there's so many opportunities, there's so many ways to get involved. Like there's so many schools around here, there's so many different people, like there's, museums like always like this is why i say if you have time like i work a lot so i don't have a lot of time to explore but i always try to go do something like either once or twice a week or whether it's just like walking around outside going to the grocery store going to a museum just exploring dc um getting out taking having a little photo shoot or something like i always encourage getting away from howard because if you stay here and become a homebody you're gonna get depressed you're gonna you're gonna get really homesick you're gonna get you're just gonna, you're gonna like drown, basically. You're gonna get absorbed by a lot of stress and things like that, especially during the school year. So I really encourage just getting off of campus and meet people that have houses off like, okay, so, sorry. So upperclassmen, <laughs> upperclassmen are either gonna help you, they gonna try to talk to you, or they gonna do both. <laughs> so if you have upperclassmen friends with off-campus housing, I would say make friends that live off campus. I say that to say because that also helps you get off campus and it also helps you network around DC. 
helps you travel it helps you just get off of Howard campus because sometimes it's just refreshing to get off campus and not just go to a party but like just to be like out a lot of people hate DC because they're like oh there's nothing to eat here because all they know is U Street like it's so much in DC that nobody knows about because y'all are homebodies y'all are homebodies so like when people say DC food is trash I'm like baby you ain't been nowhere <laughs> I am so sorry for you because you ain't been nowhere so it's just like don't be a homebody because if you become a homebody you're gonna hate Howard and Howard is not for everybody like some people just aren't Howard built like if you don't have tough skin you're not Howard built like if you think Howard's gonna be easy baby <laughs> I don't know what to tell you because you just go be in, you just go be in shock you just you just go you just go be in shock like, it's not easy it's not for everybody and not everybody's Howard built and how it's not meant for everybody yet yes it's the Mecca but not everybody's ready for the Mecca always stay on top of things that need to get done so if you know you have a problem in financial aid if you know you have a problem with a teacher with a professor any situation that's going on get on top of that and be consistent and be persistent so follow up with emails whoever you talk to whenever you're talking on the phone whenever financial aid is lying to you on the phone make sure you get a name make sure you get receipts make sure you document everything that they, these people are telling you because they will be quick to say oh no i didn't say that who said that who said that who said that they gonna tell you that and it's gonna be like what the heck? You gotta do the Howard Runaround. Be consistent, be persistent, and just be on top of it. Keep your receipts, cause they gonna try to play you. I'm, I'm gonna let y'all know that now. 10. Keep yourself motivated and busy. Howard has a legacy of excellence, okay? Truth and service. If you are at Howard, then you need to find what, like, you need to learn about your university. Now, I've been doing a lot of research especially like now that i've been here and a lot of history about howard the names of buildings and stuff around here i'm like i've started researching those people and things like that and it's like oh my god like there's so much history to howard that it's just really like it it gives you a sense of purpose and it motivates you names of buildings if you see a name of a, on a building like go look it up see what you can find out about that person see what you can learn about that person like look in your books um reach out to alumni like there's so many interesting things about Howard and I don't know like I just that <laughs> that's kind of nerdy about me but like I really just like investigating and finding out about people's stories and history and stuff like that and it also just gives like re like it just makes it motivates me to like want to create my own legacy here you know what I'm saying so I would just say like keep yourself motivated like read go out get involved on campus um even if you even if you do get rejected from like an organization or something like that or don't get into like the club you want to get into get um there's nothing stopping you from doing your own thing so a network where like they like report events on campus and stuff like that i didn't get in because like you know my class got like two thousand kids in it <laughs> so like it's gonna be competitive things are competitive here so I was like, what's stopping me from covering my own events at Howard? What's stopping me from going to events, taking the camera, and filming it? Stuff like that. What's stopping me from writing my own blogs? What's stopping me from writing an article? What's stopping me from taking my own pictures? What's stopping me from making, from branding myself? Like, if you can't get into a club here, you can start doing that stuff on your own. You can start building your resume up. Oh, that's the other thing. Everything you've done in high school, your resume, <laughs> Like, it don't matter. It does not matter. You have to start over. So, I would say progressively build. Like, make sure you're always active. Make sure you're doing stuff. Also, volunteer because truth and serve. Truth and serve. That's what we do. Truth and serve. Get involved in the community. Um, me, personally, I was working a lot during the school year. So, I couldn't really get involved the way I wanted to because, like, I was supporting myself financially. So during the summer, I have had the opportunity to find clubs and organizations around DC that benefit the community because you should always give back to your community. So those are my 10 big tips for HU22, incoming students, incoming freshmen. Please do not hesitate to take all my advice, take what you need, take what you don't, whatever you think you don't need, because I'm telling you, you don't need everything on that list, like. I've been there, done that. Like, I'm not, like, I'm just here to help y'all. And if you have any questions at all, yeah, so feel free to reach out to me on social media. I be trying to hop in HU22 group chats every now and then, um, answer a couple questions. It's in Sanan. Let me know if you guys like these. Um, let me know if y'all have any more questions. I can do a, a, another Q&A. Um, 
as it gets closer to the school year, during the school year, anything you want to know really. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Make sure you follow me on my Instagram, my Snapchat, my Twitter, all that good stuff. And make sure you give this video a big old thumbs up. Make sure you join the fam if you haven't. Like, comment, share, subscribe. And peace out, being girl, she's priceless. I love you all. Mwah.